controls the British crown. Who keeps the metric system down? We do. We do. Who leaves Atlantis off the maps? Who keeps the Martians under wraps? We do. We do. Who holds back the electric car? Who makes you do? Of their sight, who rigged every Oscar night? We do. We do. Baby, you're a fire. You work. Come on, let your colors burst. Make them go. Uh, uh, uh. You're gonna leave them all in there. You don't have to be. <laughs> Cool. So, there we go. So, we're rolling. We're good to go. Yep. Yeah. Right. 5th of November. Firework night. Basically, just trying to find some decent games that have got some fireworks decent night. fireworks in them. Yeah. Big sky flowers and ting. So, starting off with some SSX. Ooh. Right. So... Mike is a big fan of the SSX series. Well, I specifically had Trekkie, that was about it. And John hates losing at games. Yeah. And has not also. I hate losing. Not also over there. Because he's rubbish at him. Oh, no. Alright. So. He did have this game and I didn't. Oh. So. You haven't even won. No, I won't make excuses. I'm going to win anyway. Oh, my God. I like, I always choose the British guy with the worst British accent. I think it's... Don't, don't worry about me, mate. I'm from London. Has this game got fireworks in? Yeah, this level's got fireworks in. Yeah, a lot of the SSX games have fireworks in. Um, it's just the standard kind of bright, flashy, really colourful kind of look of the games. <coughs> You like this guy? Not really. This is just the first one. I just want to humiliate you when I beat you. Yeah, you, John. John's good at games, but what he's really bad at is winning with dignity. He will. Um, yeah. Nice. Right. So we're gonna do a race on this at pro as well, so that it, the. AI is difficult, and then we're going to do Gary Baldy as well, which apparently has the fireworks in it, right? It does have some fireworks in it throughout the course, yes. But you said all the courses have fireworks. Many of them do. Yeah. Some don't. Usually it's stuff that's obviously set at night time. Yeah, there's one that's specifically night time at night. That was really good. Yeah. But this one, I noticed, have some pretty cool fireworks throughout the course. Is there a series to this? Like, is there many? Yeah, well, you had the original SSX on PS2. Then SSX Tricky came about, and that was on... Uh, PS2, GameCube. I yeah. don't think Tricky made it onto the Xbox. Um, I remember playing this on PS2. I played it about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> about it. I remember a lot more about SSX3. That was pretty cool. I think that one. I think I had 3 as well. Yeah. 3 was the one with the radio, wasn't it? So you got like missions and stuff sent over to you saying, oh, races are really going off over on such and such a course right now. Go um, over and check no, it out. I remember that. Maybe I didn't have it. I definitely had this one, for sure. So I just sort of remember being a big fan of Run DMC when I was a kid as well. <coughs> Mainly because of the game. You know, some fireworks. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, lots of fireworks, obviously, because of Guy Fawkes trying to blow up Parliament about 300 years ago. History lesson there for you. Uh -huh. Although I don't think it, it wasn't historically documented whether Guy Fawkes had an issue with snowboard. Yeah, I don't know where. Big snowboard fan, I heard. There just isn't. Is there any Guy Fawkes related games? That's a good question, I guess. That is another good one. Guy Fawkes related games. There's lots of explosions, but yeah, I don't think there's any Guy Fawkes related games as such. No. What about <laughs> games? <laughs> Relating to the Houses of Parliament. Yeah. That, I haven't actually played the newest Assassin's one of the newest Assassin's Creed. Was it Syndicate, the one that was set in London? Yeah, Syndicate set in London. I, I don't know, I just looked at the board. 
Man, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since Brotherhood. No, I got no, um, no. I got Black. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, Tell a Light. I played Black Flag on Black PS4. Flag, yeah. I got that with my PS4 when it came out. That was a beautiful game, and you know, pirates. Yeah, yeah I, I like the boat. I don't think I there's like enough the pirate like, games. Shit. Yeah. Sailing into the sun. Yeah, yeah. The like um, pirate stuff. I don't think there's enough pirate games. This is true. There, there was stuff like um, the Monkey Island games, which are real old kind of point and click sort of thing. There were some pirates in that. Yeah. I think there's some like some PS1 games that had various uh, pirate. pirate bits in them. Well, I think there should be like a not a Skyrim, but you know what I mean, like a like a big open world kind yeah, of pirate, pirate game. game. That would be that pretty be slick. Big. Make your own settlement. Yeah, shit. Not How are you getting shit. on with Uncharted 4 at the moment, John? Um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad to be honest. It's, I'm there is a reason I really, asked. Yeah, I'm not really playing it at the moment because I've got about a good one. Fair shout. And so, I'm quite like that at the moment. See this little shortcut here? Oh, and I brought an excellent game oh, as well. Mike's going off piste. I love it. I brought a new excellent game as well. What was that? Defense Rift 2. Is this another one of these tower defense it's games? A tower defense game. Oh, it's <laughs> glorious. What was the one you had on PS3 that you absolutely raved about? Savage Moon. That's it. Uh, was it on the moon? No, it wasn't. Well, what the f. What were they playing out there? I don't know. I would like to say, I did try that game, and this, this, is, a good, this is a good forum for admitting things. You, you gave me a PSN login to download Savage Moon. I played it. Hated it. Yeah, it's, it's quite niche. If I if I think back to every game that John's ever sort of recommended, I've hated them all. I don't know. I hate you. I don't know if that says anything about me or John. John, you're upside down yet? Yeah. Whoa, fifth, not last. Well, mark this down. Uh, John lost. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fun one. Um, I tell you what, you guys have another round. Well, let's let's do the next level, eh? Okay? Yeah, let's go on to the next race. So you guys do the next race, and I'll get the next next game set up. John, I'm lucky I don't know how to play this game. Figure out how to boost. No, I don't know. Oh. Oh look, we've unlocked a. Uh, I think we've unlocked that level, Elysium Alps or whatever it's called. Nice. I didn't see any fireworks though. Where are the fireworks? Yeah, there was loads of fireworks. Was there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh you sit. You're on the controller. Again. No. Oh, hang on. Let's just pause it, John. Oh, I'm on my. Oh, crashed into your body. So you later, I'm going off paste again. So you know all these tricks and stuff. No, right? you just you just fucking do it right. It's snowboarding. There are no rules. So there are. There are the rules. Look, no, there is no rules on the mountain. Everyone knows it. The unwritten rules of snowboarding. The unwritten rules of the mountain. Oh. Why is it just me and you now? No, but there's no AI. I'm going so slow. Yeah, I'm behind you. Oh, you put it. Mate, no. You put it on Legion. You put it on show off, that's why. Oh, this is a tricks competition. Yeah, you have to do them. You have to do tricks. Grabs are the shoulder buttons. And spins are. Spins, you hold X and you spin that way. So basically, you don't have to actually go around the track. I'm very quick. You just have to do it. And also to do some different moves. When you're holding your grab, you can then press B to vary it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much easier on PS1. Grind, did you see that grind? Mad grind skill. You can't wind the jump, um, the spin up though, that's right. I mean, on the topic of fireworks themselves, mm. I suppose you could also put that back to just any game with massive explosions. Yeah, basically. Nice. 
Mike is bringing the game now. He knows what he's doing. That being said, John's winning. Yeah, I don't know how this happens. What? No, do I. Yeah, exactly. For a man who didn't know how to do a trick. Yeah, you just said and, and Mike's just throwing combos and all kinds of flair. Oh, even his tricky moves. Oh, rolls ready. Oh, sorry. Oh, Uber trick. What's that? How do I do that? So that's, that's your two shoulder buttons and B. And the B. Let's try, let's try implementing that. Yeah, we'll do it on this jump here. When you filled your bar up, John. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's lost it as oh, well. No. Oh, oh no. Come on. Come on, I'm stuck. I'm going uphill. Oh, that could have been the big redeemer. No, I'll redeem that. Right, so games with big explosions. Obviously, you've got standard stuff like your, your Grand Theft Autos. Battle, Battlefield <laughs> 1, always. George just kind of come out of the gate with, yeah, Fallout. Nuclear, nu nuclear like, blast. You can literally let off a nuclear bomb. Yeah. Not wrong. Well, yeah. Oh my God. Obviously, there are games like Mercenaries and stuff like that where you yeah, can pretty much just demolish awesome. everything. Well, on that talking point, we were, we were saying about um, games that should have a sequel. I don't know if Mercenaries has a sequel. Sure. I don't know. I, I think there was a Mercenaries 2, but I don't yeah, think it ever went. It, that's it. Yeah, that was on 360, wasn't I it? I think it went downhill very quickly. Though. Am I going the wrong way? No. I want to play Mercenaries at some point. I don't know, John, but it certainly looks like you might be. I that's it. So, as you guys might have gathered by this point. This is our first recording. You're witnessing history. Well, <laughs> and not all history is good. Is it? No, no. There, there were many things in history that we probably shouldn't talk about that were terrible. A bit like Guy Fawkes. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which brings us back to the fact that treason. Today is the fifth of November. Yeah, treason is bad. I hate fireworks. Right, right. I want to have this out. How can anybody hate fireworks? No, I mean, I like playing with fireworks or throwing fireworks at people or something like this. But to watch a fireworks display is, in my mind, boring. It's boring. It is boring. Um, they, have, they have their uses, though. <laughs> Aside from the fact they're beautiful. Well, yeah, I mean, they're all right. And the ones that, like, go off so loud, it's just like a massive boom, mate. You make gut run. But. I think the majority of fireworks displays go on for about 100% too long. Like, instead of being 10 minutes of shit, say. shitty fireworks, why don't they just do like one minute of absolute carnage? Just, just sit them all in a pile. Yeah, and just go get, mad. Get a trail of petrol. Basically. And just drop a match on it. That's all I'm asking for, yeah. Right, I can only think of one example. But can either of you think of good uses of fireworks in films? Um, Land of the Dead. Yes, Land of the Dead, the sky flowers yeah. to distract No, them. Well, that's what that guy says. I don't like that. To distract the zombies, which is, in a post-apocalyptic world, would be quite a difficult thing to implement, seeing as you'd quickly run out of fireworks. Well, that being said, everyone in Land of the Dead does really seem to have their shit together. Like, really? They're a lot, they're a lot more organised than any other post-apocalyptic, post-zombie breakout kind of world. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen it. Oh, oh. it is good. I mean, I had it on PSP. That's how old it is. Oh, UMDs. Yeah, UMDs. That was a good thing. It was groundbreaking. Was it UMDs? Yeah, Universal Media Disc. That was that was groundbreaking for me. Yeah. Oh, fuck that move. Oh. Points for trying, though. You oh, ca gonna... You're catching him up, Mike. I mean, you don't literally get points for trying. Like, <laughs> You get points for landing the trick. And yeah. From memory, I think we're about halfway through the track now. S I mean, score-wise, so you fuck that up. <laughs> yeah, well, you put it on show-off. Show-off is boring. So not only does John lose at racing on SSX, he also loses at setting up the race, setting up the contests. We're also going to miss a checkpoint where we both lose. But, uh, but I think... so shit. Why is anyone going to tune in and watch us play games and lose? <laughs> no one's... Say I'll beat you. No, but no one's going to tune... No one's going to tune in and watch this. Us be... Up, us be absolutely poor, piss poor at games. <laughs> but, you know... Come, come on, come on, and watch us fucking lose. Let's, you know, let's just put that into perspective, though. Like, you watch a lot of streams, and there's people Winning. with all these games, and they're really good. 
Yeah, really good. Like you watch people playing Daisy and stuff like that, and they're just brilliant at everything they do. Whereas we're which you don't want. Yeah, we're uh, no, you kind of do. All right, you you kind of want that. You want them to know what they're talking about and what they're doing, but you know, it's nice for a bit of a change. They're always really funny as well. They're never sort of miserable or grumpy. Well, I mean, we've been recording the past <laughs> ten minutes of me not even on screen. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's just been me. I think this mic hasn't even been on. Well, I'm going to get the next game set up. What is that, by the way? What is that? that is going to be leaning. That is going to be Fantavision, which is a launch title for PS2. I think that's even better if we get our facts fucking wrong. Banging. But yeah, it's literally a game about fireworks. Oh, okay, good, right. Yeah, on, you mate. literally set fireworks off. Right, let's do it. Put it it's, on. It's, uh, Put it on. I'll go back to what I hate about it's, fireworks. It's, it's banging. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fan division. It's, 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 it's banging. It's going to be moaning. Yeah, and him doing shit puns. Well, I suppose John, that's not a pun. It's a fan division. It's banging. What don't you like about fireworks? They're expensive. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, that's it. That's the, the uh, uh, I haven't got space in this place to actually let any off. No, you go outside. No, no, I mean, outside. I don't have a garden or anything. I don't know of no, many you. homesteads where you can set off fireworks. Um, you know, we just never sort of... The firework displays, that's what upsets me, firework displays. I like the bonfires. They don't really burn guys' faults anymore, do they? Because that's quite brutal. No, he's dead. They well, no. It, they call it the guy. Yeah, yeah, which is weird. No, you, how many times do they burn the mannequin? Once. No, I mean, like, how many times Once in the last bonfire nights do you see that? I don't think I can't remember the last bonfire. Well, they night. make like a wicker man usually, Take don't they? Take a seat in the centre. Yeah. But well, what are we on? Are we on? Uh, uh, you play this one. Uh, yes, free. Okay. So I got the dual shock here. Let me just let me just make sure I'm in it. I don't really want to be in it. <laughs> Is this, is this a one-player game? Yes. Yes. Where's that light there? You, you got my one? Yeah, I'm one. holding it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Are we still recording? Anyway, yes. um, so Bonfire and I, you two are going to Bonfire? Bon, uh, yes. Of course. Of course. We are indeed. I was thinking about it. I have two options, but I think I'm just going to sit in. Oh. That's nice. Lost my phone last night, you know about that? Yep. Mm -hmm. That was good. Um, went to karaoke. Uh, Don't want to hear that. Which is similar to this. What did you sing? You you do have... I can't remember. You have a history. like. I had, I did, obviously I did Tiny Temper, obviously. Yes. But there was two of us did that. Blur? No, I didn't do Blur. Oh. They had two microphones, so most of the songs were sort of duos, if you like. Right, okay. Um, that was good. That was a fun night. Maybe peaked too soon. You know, I was drunk before I even walked into that place. And what time did you walk into that place? Seven. Yeah, you peaked very, very, very early. early, and lost my phone, and I didn't get home till about six in the morning. Several hours unaccounted and unaccounted for. Woke up about eleven o'clock this morning with missed calls from you on a phone that I don't have. <laughs> How does that work? Because you said that you rung me three times. So. <laughs> EE though, they said a free upgrade. Samsung Galaxy S3. S3? What's that? Wow. Is that old? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Guess what phone's out now? Seven. Yeah. Maybe it was a seven, I don't know. <laughs> I hope it was an S3. I don't care, to be honest. I hope it, you don't get it, a phone. No, but to be honest, it's a free phone, so, you know, can't complain. I don't really want an iPhone. It had something like 32 gigabytes on it as well, which is not too bad. It's all right. Have some songs on there. Yeah, interesting. Obviously, and modern society tends to use Spotify. Yeah, I might I might get that now. Um, Spotify's I'm just, good. I'm going to rip... What I'm, is this? This is an intro, mate. Is it... Mate, cast your, cast your mind is it back to Japanese? the launch of the PS2, right? Yeah. The world was a different place. Yeah. Well, evidently. Br Britney Spears wore red PVC and sung Oops I Did It Again. What was she I talking about there? 
do you reckon? Did what again? I crack. don't know, but I heard... Crack. Probably. Oh, wait, this is slander. Uh, yeah, it's libelous. <laughs> yeah. Although, I uh, I did hear a really cool Weird Al Yankovic. Oops, I farted again. Yeah, I don't like it. I, I had that on MP3. I'm not a big fan of Weird Many Al. years ago. Oh, oh. I'm trying to get comfortable. Right, so... So this looks like a mad game. Yes. It is typically Japanese batshit crazy mm-hmm. in that a load of spheres shoot up into the night sky mm-hmm. and you have to select various matching colours, get loads of combos and then trigger them to make beautiful oh, fireworks I, see, yes. I have seen this been played yeah? before. I not. I, this sounds like a game that John will be good at, but... Welcome to Fantavision. I'm going to take the lead on this one. It looks complicated. What? Three chain. Uh. So, the process is you use your beam to select matching colored fireworks and trigger them all together. Three chain. So, for example, I can see the next three can be blue, and then there's going to be a rainbow, which then lets me choose different colors. You should have got the blue. Two daisy. Is there a time limit? No, I can't remember. They do, like, stop working after a while. Two days. Eight days. Like many of this time, I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. Stop. Eight days. So, how old is this? Two days. Seven days. Isn't it amazing when you think about 2001? It sort of seems like modern times, but this is just absolutely Three old as balls. Seven chains. Well, as far as fire le- firework-related games go, this is probably the best. Eleven chains. Yeah. <clears throat> well, out of all the out of all the firework games, I know this is the best. Yeah. And it's just that one on the uh, the eye toy. Yes. Shouts. I um. You can get a flare gun in Fallout 4. Yes. Mm. Uh, dead. Is it Dead Rising when you're in the mall? Yeah, and you make a firework gun. You can have a firework gun in there. Yeah, you yeah. can stab a firework into a zombie's head. That's. It's not a game based on fireworks, though. Right? Some would say. Some would say it was. No, they wouldn't. Some would say it was. Yeah. Um, I mean, if there's any other firework, I can't think of any other firework games. Uh, I have no idea what it is. Oh, Spyro the Dragon. Spyro the Dragon was a game in which you used your flame breath to ignite the fuse on certain rockets. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? So... Very good. Very good. I mean, I, that, I used to love that game as a child. Um, you know, when I was 18, I used to play that all the time. Two days. Joke. Ten chains. What, Spyro the Dragon? No, when I was a kid, that was like that was probably one of the first games I played. That Crash Bandicoot. Two days. Remember the Path of the Rapper. Which, again, I'm just gonna. I think I played games before. I think it was Golden Axe, and Streets of Rage, and the old Mega Drive. I remember Henry had a Sega, yeah, and we used to go around his and play Streets of Rage, and F1, and yeah. Wolf Castle Wolfenstein was it? Well. Yeah. Yeah. Five chains. Yeah, what's happened to the music? Game over. Hmm. Game over. Thank you for playing. See you again. Mm. I mean, that is basically just an arcade game, isn't it? Yeah. I personally can't see it having a lot of extended playback. And as much as I can't think I can sit here and try and set that out. I'm. I got bored watching you play it. 
Not massively. No. I mean, hopefully Christmas. But then we're going to struggle at Christmas as well because Christmas has got barely any games. Ah. No, Mario Kart. What? Sherbet man. Well, sorry, the ice levels in like Mario Kart or something like that count. There, there's always ways I can to, get to hard, make yeah. it happen. Yes. Uh, if we could find an old CRT TV, yeah. get it all set up. Die Hard game was good. Was that yeah. the one with the three games in one? First yes, person, the Die Hard trilogy. And the, yeah, and the, and the second one was the first person on rail shoot em Yeah, up. That, that, it's like Time Crisis sort of thing. Get yourself a light gun on that one. That that was, I remember playing that as a child and having the cheat as well because I had like a cheat book, you know, when you used to have to get the book that had all the cheats in it. And that was the Die Hard 2 trilogy and that was the one that was on rails or something. No, Die Hard 2 was yeah. on the rails. And I remember just unlocking infinite grenades and just sort of launching grenades at people and just shoot. It was awful, awful game, but it's no better. It's no worse than that, <laughs> mate. Mate, let, let's not be overly critical of Fantavision. Don't even understand. Fantavision. Fan- is it owned by Fanta? Why is it that I couldn't tell. You. I did wonder if it was something to do with Fantasia, like playing on like that the old Disney thing with Mickey mm. Mouse. Yeah, maybe. Just commanding things to do things. I reckon they pretty. They could have just called that game anything. Firework. Fireworks. Firework extravaganza. Two thousand. Would, would have been relevant to the time period as well. Go on, put this next one on. What's the next one? That's it. Oh, that's it. So yeah, okay. we were gonna play the original Super Mario Brothers, but. Well, Due to lack of foresight and preparation, we can't play Super Mario Brothers. And the fact that it's 3 o'clock now. And the fact that it's 3 o'clock now, so mm. we want to kind of wrap this up. Yeah. Cool, so if you stuck with us this far, well done. You've got a stronger will than I have. Um, <laughs> I struggle to be, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. <laughs> my, so, yeah. uh, my bins are getting collected on Monday, as it turns out, from this leaflet. If you take nothing else with you, you can take that with you. Right, weekly, well... Uh, weekly. Weekly. Yeah, I know. You know what else is weekly? Our new stream. <laughs> oh, yes. Slick. Yes. Uh, Super sweet. slick. So oh. we're hoping to start a stream. <laughs> see, some see point what next else is week. on Monday. <laughs> so our first month's theme is going to be most underrated games. So basically, we've each come up with an idea of what's going to what's the most underrated game we can think of. It might not have been. It might be that it was popular, but it never got the superstar status we felt it was, or it might have just been a complete bargain bin load of crap that we've absolutely fallen in love with. Mm. Like Savage Moon. Love Savage Moon. So yeah, uh, thank you for trying this out. Thank you even more if you've managed to stick with it. Um, Do subscribe. Yep, subscribe, like us on various social medias. Uh, Down here, you can see you've got us on Twitter, at Gaming. And then you've got, on Facebook, Stonecutter Gaming as well. Uh, yeah, hit us up on there, and we'll hopefully see you soon. Have a good fireworks tonight, guys. Cheers.